hi guys welcome back to ifashi today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make this beautiful shift dress you can wear it to any occasion it's very simple it can be one as easy wear or for errands or for special occasions if you've been wondering how to make the dress you're in the right place now let's begin i started with my pattern paper and this is the fabric i'll be using it is very important to use a patterned fabric so that it's it will add extra beauty these fabrics that has the designs on the down part and plain on the upper part so now on my pattern paper the first thing i'll do is to mark out the straight line on the top of my paper where i'll be starting my measurement from and that straight line will be labeled s where my shoulder measurement will be taken Now, after taking the straight line, the next thing we will do is to take our shoulder measurement divided by 2 on this straight line. So, I marked 8 because my shoulder measurement is 16. So, now, on that point, I marked 8. We will come down by 0 0.5 to take our shoulder slope. So, from there, I will also take my neck width. For you to get your accurate neck width, you divide your bust measurement by 16 and add 1 to your answer. That will give you your neck width so mine is 3.3 so i'm taking 3.3 then i also come down by 1.5 for the back neck depth that's because this particular pattern that we'll be using today i would draft my back and front measurement on it because i will use this paper to cut the back and the front so after coming down by 1.5 to get our back neck width i will also come down by three inches to get the front neck width and i'll label it b and f which is the back neck and the front neck then on that neck point i would mark a straight line to meet the shoulder slope that we just took now after doing that the next thing we'll do now is to take our measurements downwards i'm, start, I'm starting with my chest measurement which is the shoulder to chest measurement eight inches after that, I'll take my shoulder to bust point, which is 10.5. After that, I'll go down and take my shoulder to waist measurement, which is 17 inches. I did not take under bust measurement here because there's no point taking under bust. This is a free flay dress. So I'll draw a straight line on these marks that I just made and I'll label them so that we'll know what each line is for. After labeling them, the next thing I'll do from my waist measurement, I'll come down with 9 inches to get my hip measurement. So after marking that, I'll also draw a straight line on that point to indicate our hip line. After that, the next thing I'll do is to take my full length measurement. This depends on you how long you want it. Most people make this dress short. I do not want mine to be very, very short. So I stopped at 38 inches. I took 39 because I'll be using 1 inches. To fold in the hem so i marked out my 39 and i will draw that line and label it the full length line now after that we'll come back to this our uh, shoulder measurement this armhole point we we'll divide what you have here by two and then come inwards by 0 0.5 this 0 0.5 is for the back armhole. The front is usually deeper. So we we'll also take that one on this same pattern. Now I'm taking my bust circumference divided by 4 on my chest line and on my bust line. Then after that, I'll add 1.5 inch for your ease allowance. This is not our seam allowance. This is not the sewing allowance. Just because this particular dress is not fitted, we will be adding 1.5 ease allowance to all our um, body measurements now after tracing out my armhole this first armhole i traced out is for the back like i said before 0.5 i also come in with 0.75 on that same point to mark out my front armhole and then i'll draw it out 
After drawing it out, the next thing is to take your body measurement downwards. The bust measurement divided by 4 on the bust line, the waist measurement divided by 4 on the waistline, the hip measurement divided by 4 on the hip line. All of these measurements you will remember to add 1.5 in inch for ease allowance. Then on the hemline, which is the down part of the dress, your ease allowance there should be up to 2 inches because it's a flay A-line dress. Now, after adding all the 1.5 seam allowance, ease allowance on the measurements, now add your 1 inch seam allowance that you will use to sew on all of the measurements that you just took. So this 1 inch that you're adding is the one that you will use to sew the dress. And then after adding all of these 1 inches, 1 inch each on this. After adding the 1 inch, I would connect with my curve row all of the measurements together to get our to get the shape of our dress i told you guys earlier this dress is very simple to make very easy no unnecessary complexities we are done with the drafting of the back and front remember i said we are drafting the back and the front on this particular pattern so we've taken all our body measurements the next thing we do now is to cut out remember to cut out the on the back neck that you took because we'll cut out the back first before cutting the front. Now, after cutting out the pattern paper, you introduce the fabric. This is the fabric I'll be using. Remember I said it is very necessary to use a patterned fabric if you want the beauty of this dress to actually come out. Any fabric is fine, right? You can use Ankara, you can use any fabric, but to get this type of beauty, you know, fabric also contributes in bringing out the beauty of a dress. So just go for a fabric that has pattern. Now this is the back piece that we just cut. The next thing I'll cut now is to cut out the facing. Fold your fabric like you, you did when, fold, when cutting the back. Place your back on top. Trace following your neck and your shoulder downwards and then just curve it like you see me curving. That will serve as our facing for the back. Now to cut the front, let's work on our pattern paper. Remember, we will trim out this neck. To come down to the front neck we also trim out this armhole because the front armhole is deeper and then there's this slant on the front the v on the front we are taking that now i will come down by four inches from my neckline and then go in by one inch if you don't want it too wide you can go in by 0 0.5 connect from that 0 0.5 down to the four inches that you took on the down so that will give you the v shape on the neckline cut it out and then place it on top of your pattern your fabric and cut out the front piece Now, we are done cutting out the front piece. After cutting the front piece, if you open it up, this is what you have. You see your front V shape out already. We are also going to cut a facing of, on this front that we use to turn the neck, just like we did for the back. I folded my piece of fabric and then I cut along the neck and the shoulder line. Then curve it under that we use as the facing. So now, for you to do the facing, you place the, face, the piece of facing that you cut, the good sides of the fabric facing each other, and then pin it all the way down because this fabric moves a lot it's very it's not a firm fabric so you pin it secure it down with the pin so that when you're sewing it doesn't start shifting pin down the front pin down the back now i'll go to my sewing machine and run a stitch along this neckline after running a stitch i will top stitch on it and also do the front the same thing on the front now this is what we have after stitching. I've run a stitch on the neckline 
and then if you flip it over you see that i have top stitched on the facing now remember to notch always notch especially any curvy part of an outfit that you make notch it so that when you flip it up to the right side you won't have any squeezes whatsoever so now after making this stitch and top stitching the next thing i will do is to face the back and the front facing each other and then join the shoulder in order for us to join this shoulder you just pin the neck the both neck the neck of the front and the neck of the but the shoulder the shoulder of the front and the shoulder of the back pin it together just watch as, as i'm doing open it up make the good sides face each other and pin it all the way from up to down then after securing it with pin do the same thing on the other side open it up place the two good sides facing each other and pin it then run a stitch now this is what i have after running a stitch on this on the shoulder part of the dress and then like i said earlier remember to notch your fabric after notching i'll cut out the ss and then i'll flip it to the good sides for you to see now this is what we have on the outside if you notice it's still not flat yet because the next thing remaining now after notching is to press it down firmly with your iron now i'll introduce my iron and iron this neck part give it a very good notch give it a very good press the beauty will come out now we finished ironing look how flat it has come out the facing of the back and front has been ironed together and this is what we have on the neck part so the next thing i'll do now is to measure what i have on my armhole so that i'll use it to cut my cut out my sleeve now on this my armhole i have 10.5 now I'll introduce a pattern paper that i'll use to cut this trumpet sleeve the some persons call it bell sleeve some persons call it trumpet sleeve so the first thing i'll do is to take 4.5 inches downwards from the beginning of my paper the beginning of my paper will serve as the shoulder right now i'll come down with 4.5 inches and mark a straight line the first straight line is the shoulder then this second straight line is the 4.5 that will serve as our bicep that's our bicep point that's 4.5 inches and then the last part of this paper is my full length of my sleeve this sleeve is meant to be very long you can decide to trim it off later when it's too long it's better than being coming out too short so on this my bicep line i'm going to take my round armhole measurement divided by two my round armhole, armhole measurement is 21 so i took 10.5 and then that 10.5 i connected it straight to my with a straight ruler to my shoulder then on that line that line i just connected i divided it by two and then i marked the midpoint on the midpoint i'll use my curve rule to curve the down parts downwards and then curve the up parts upwards as you see me doing that's how you get your accurate armhole curve then at the end of this sleeve we are going to take you are going to take how wide you want your trumpet sleeve to be I'm using 14 inches so I will connect the 14 inches up to the armhole point and then we have our trumpet or bell sleeve ready now what I'll need to do is to introduce my fabric and cut out this sleeve after cutting out remember to measure because you measured what you have on your dress remember to measure and see if it is accurate with what you have if it is not accurate reduce what you have on your pattern paper so it can fit into what you have on your dress and then you go ahead and cut out now that we're done cutting that cutting out our sleeve we will introduce back our dress and then notch the midpoint of your sleeve because that's the part that would be on the middle point of your shoulder the stitch we made on our shoulder the midpoint of our sleeve will start from there i will secure it down with a pin 
so that when I get to the sewing machine, it doesn't shift. After pinning it down, I will go ahead and run a stitch on this sleeve and the dress together and I'll be right back. Now this is what we have after joining the sleeve to the dress. It's, it's coming out beautiful already. The next thing I'll do now is to open up the armhole like you see me doing and join the armhole together. Make sure your stitch on the armhole is aligned. Then secure it down with a pin and run a stitch all the way down to your dress and all the way down to the end of your sleeve as well. Now before you run it down, remember to fold the hem of your dress. Fold the down of your dress, also fold the down of your sleeve as well. So that when you're running that stitch down from your armhole, the hem is already folded. And guys, we're almost done with these dresses. It's very simple. Thank you for watching to this point. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Now this is what we have after after stitching the armhole and the down part and the sides of our dress together. I've gone ahead to fold in the hem of the sleeve and the hem of the dress. What is remaining now is to iron with our hemming gum fold the down of the dress and the down of the sleeve as well and guys your your shift's dress is ready like i always say ironing make your work very very neat and the remaining part of this dress is just to iron and there you go here's the result of the outfits we just made guys it is very simple you can make this dress in the space of two hours thank you so much for staying with us thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye